One of the important things that we do in our practices, as uh, we found in Andrew Newberg's work, the professor at Penn who's done so much on deafferentation, which is making complexity uh, to challenge your brain as a great tool to work on your brain, also move you towards mental awakening. One of the uh, really important uh, ancient uh, chants with mudras is a Gayatri, which uh, is a kind of rite of passage that the Brahmins used to give, the Brahmin fathers gave to their Brahmin sons uh, and taught it to them. That was, they were then, began that stage of their life. Well, uh, with contemporary times, that's changed now and it's really available to anybody. Women can chant it, any other people, any caste can chant it. So it's really broadened out. It's a very useful chant because it's very simple. Uh, it's all about light. It just says light, the light's great, the light's wonderful, honor the light, the light's resplendent, the light's fantastic. So uh, I don't even remember the words, I don't pay attention to the words for the Gayatri. Uh, they're such beautiful sounds and the words that are so, uh, all saying the same thing, light, 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 light. So uh, I'll go through those mudras um, here as I chant the Gayatri. I'll chant it two or three times. Uh, you can get a sense of what's good about this. It's good about it because your mind can't process it. You know, there's no words there you can know it that you can work on. So you just have to let that sound move through you clearly. So, Gayatri. <coughs> Yeah. 